YouTubers, welcome to another beer review with me, Peter the Master of Puppets. Today, looking at another beer in McKellar's Beer Geek series, and this is another variation of McKellar's Beer Geek Breakfast. And this is the McKellar Beer Geek Breakfast aged in cherry wine barrels, 7.5% alcohol. I take it that it is Flex Day cherry wine, because I believe that's the only cherry wine that he's ever done really barrel aged stuff with. And Flex Day cherry wine is Pretty damn awesome. If you never had any, try it. It is, it's insanely good. But I got the beer poured. It's classic beer geek breakfast color. Uh, pitch black, uh, kind of fizzy. Tan head is left, but let's take out the aroma on it. Oh yeah, uh, there's definitely a kick of the uh, cherry nose. Actually, the barrel character isn't as uh, powerful, I think, as the tequila version. But there's definitely like that vinous uh, and kind of red cherry or dark cherries as well, uh, some oaky notes, vinous, almost some vanilla as well, but then you get the coffee also, a good of coffee, roasty flavors, or roasty aromas. Yeah, it's, it smells pretty good. The more I smell though, the more I pick up on the cherry, but vanilla, oaky aromas as well, much more vanilla actually than uh, I'd expect it from a, like a cherry wine edition, but it smells pretty damn good, so let's give it a taste, guys. Cheers. Oh yeah, more cherry on the flavor. Almost like a tartness to it. A lot of chocolate as well. Okay, that, that sip was with sweet cherries. <laughs> Strange. Okay, I, I'm gonna go for another sip. Yeah, it's a fun mix of sweet and tart cherries. Um, the mouthfeel in this one I think is the biggest so far. Uh, the others seem to thin it out a little bit more, but there's definitely a little more mouthfeel to it. A good dry oaky flavor as well. Um, I really like the, the kind of sweet and sour cherry flavor to it, that's really cool. Um, you also get a good kick of coffee, a lot of roasted malty flavors. The vanilla is a slight hint, there's, it's not too much of it, it's mostly like the tart and like uh, sweet cherry flavors. and then oaky, charred oak flavors, and then like coffee. I don't know if the coffee, well, it, it pairs pretty good, but it's a very different type of flavor pairing than what you're used to. Mm. So it's pretty nice stuff. Um, you get you get a good balance between the flavors the more you sip on it, but it could have been more overt with our more intense cherry wine flavors you'd pick up. And I actually think it might work better with a more sweeter, less roasty beer. And the last time I had their Beauty Brunch Weasel was on tap, and that was quite sweet. I think that would work well with it. Uh, but it's, it's still really nice stuff. I think it's as good as the tequila version. I know it's completely different flavors, uh, but they're on par with, you, with each other. So I, I'm not flavor-wise, but what I think of them personally. So I'd say 93 for this one as well. It's still really good. Still, I think I prefer the standalone regular Beauty Brunch or very much breezy breakfast, but still, it's it's really interesting. It's, it's 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 fun to try these barrel variation like barrel projects. I still think the best barrel series he did was with the uh, black hole series with different barrels. That was that was really cool, and most of them were insane. But um, that's also a much bigger beer. But still, it's still really good stuff. As I said, I think it will work pretty good with something like beery Prince weasel or. This would actually work good with Black Hole, I think, think too. Yeah, guys, uh, definitely let me know what you think of the McCutter uh, Beer Geek Breakfast Aged in Cherry Wine Barrels, if you've had a chance to try it. As always, guys, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram, and I'm going to say cheers, and see you guys in another beer review.